Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a very exciting fall inspired makeup look that I've been doing the past few weeks using all of the products from Glossier and Glossier Play. Now, Glossier Play was a sub makeup line released by Glossier a few months ago and of course when it came out it was very exciting because it's something new and pizzazzy colorful that came from Glossier which is awesome. So I've been playing with a bunch of the products for quite a while now and I'm really enjoying them. So without Without further ado, let's get started. And of course, with all of this mentioned, I want to thank Glossier for sponsoring today's video. As you guys know, as followers of my brand, my channel, my Instagram, everything, I'm a huge Glossier fan and I have been for a few years. And this is a very exciting partnership. I am so excited to continue working with them. Yeah, they're pretty much everything that I wear on my face and it's makeup that is great for me because I don't wear a lot of makeup and it's really easy to use. So that's pretty much all I'm about. Okay. <laughs> This a little bit. So to preface this a little bit, I already showered, my hair is dried and everything, but I haven't done anything to my face. So I wanted to show you guys everything that I use on my normal daily skincare, just in the morning and my makeup. And this is what I've been doing for the fall. And this is a little bit different from the makeup I used to do because I work full time. I don't have time to do all of this crazy makeup, which is kind of where Glossier came in as like this saving grace for making me look presentable. But uh, it doesn't take up really any of my time in the morning. My full makeup routine in the morning takes like 15 20 minutes after like washing my face and everything so yeah that's awesome so i don't think this will be very long it's a nice and cloudy day in la it's been a nice change but in the fall and going into the winter uh the air tends to get dry and this isn't normal in la normally it's pretty humid but we've got some santa Ana winds going on everything's on fire and so the air's been very dry and so my skin has been feeling it i have very dry skin and it's usually what makes me break out so i'm constantly trying to pump as much moisture into to my skin without it just all sitting on top of my face and um, making me break out. So that is like the biggest thing that makes me break out is dry skin and then stress. <laughs> So uh, relatively, I relatively have clear skin most of the time. I do get like some stress breakouts like I've been traveling the past few weeks. So my skin has been feeling that being on planes and just, just like the stress of being jet lagged and also working is a lot. So take care of yourselves, give yourself a break, hydrate, you know, wash your face, brush your teeth, you know, call your mom, all that jazz. So also we got these really cute cups from Goodwill. They're called uh, an inconvenient kitty and it's all like weird instances of where cats like involve themselves when they aren't invited. So this is <laughs> the uninvited guest sitting on your lap. Anyway, so obviously on the back of my hand, I've been swatching um, just like some of the color slides that I have. So if you are new to either Glossier or if you are a Glossier fan and you're kind of looking into the Glossier play, this is kind of the video for you because it's a really simple way to kind of spruce up your makeup routine. Everything in my routine is built off of the regular Glossier makeup line and also I'm gonna be introducing three new products, which are the Color Slide Techno Gel Eye Pencil, the Nightshine Highlight Concentrate, and also the Vanillic Lip High Shine Buildable Lip Lacquer. All of these are super packed with color, they're very wearable, they're super comfortable, so let's get started after all of that. <laughs> so my normal go-to face wash is the Milky Jelly Cleanser. I have this cute little travel one right here. This is the perfect face wash for me because it's gentle, it doesn't overdry my skin, but it also doesn't leave any residue on my skin. Skin, and it takes off my makeup really easily because I don't use any makeup remover I just like to wash my face all in one fell swoop and then have everything be done So that's where the milky jelly cleanser comes in and that's my normal go-to face wash So after I get out of the shower after I'm done washing my face I go in immediately with my moisturizers, which I didn't do because I'm bad <laughs> So to get started, I generally have some clips to keep my bangs, hello, keep my bangs out of my face. Maybe we should turn this down. Oh, wrong way, there we go. So with my bangs clipped back, I'm gonna go in and I'm using just my regular priming moisturizer. This is, I'm almost out. Okay, just gonna do a little glob on my finger. And generally I like to spread it out first on my face and then I kind of lightly press it in. And also this is the first moisturizer I've had, I think, in my life that doesn't irritate my eczema. Most moisturizers definitely kind of burn. And this is the first one I've tried that doesn't actually like burn my <laughs> eczema. But I will show you guys what I use to keep that calm as well. So my eczema is induced by a few different things. Um, it's 
it's mostly caused by stress and also whatever I'm eating that could be a trigger. So that means generally a lot of like dairy products can make my eczema flare up and also a lot of gluten and sugary products can make it flare up. So I know, where did it go? Hi George. So I have an eczema prescription and I've tried a few different things to calm my eczema, but right now I'm using the <laughs> Clobetasol Proponia cream. This is what it looks like. This is the only eczema cream that I've been prescribed that actually works. And so I get it around my mouth. You can kind of see it down here. So you can see it right here and usually it gets like all down on my chin and like the corners of my mouth. So I usually take just like a tiny bit cause I really don't need a lot. And I press that into all right here. And my eczema every year like shifts places. So sometimes it's like below my bottom lip. For a while it was on my top lip and I had like pretty much a scar for like the longest time of all right here. Of just like eczema and it itched and it burned and it peeled and it flaked and it was gross and I hated it But I've gotten it kind of under control now because I know what causes it So I just kind of press that in and then for a while it was around my eyes and that was awful So I had to stop wearing makeup pretty much all together and that's when I started using Clausier Interestingly enough. Okay, now that that's out of the way uh, Okay Next, after that, I'm gonna go in with my Invisible Shield sunscreen. I've worn sunscreen every single day for the past three years, which is something I'm very proud of. So I just do just a big old glob of that. I'm gonna press this in, we. And I, I love the Invisible Shield because it a, doesn't smell like sunscreen. I've tried so many sunscreens that don't, or I've tried so many sunscreens that like just smell like sunscreen and I feel like I'm smelling like sunscreen the whole day. So it was like deterring me from wearing sunscreen because <laughs> it, wouldn't, it wouldn't sit under my makeup well. Back when I used to wear like a lot heavier foundation and concealer before I uh, realized that I don't need to do that. Let that sink into my skin. So like already this gives me like a little bit of just like a natural sheen. Doesn't do too much, but that is kind of where Glossier's newest little release comes in, which is the Future Dew. Now, like all of us, we want to look extra dewy, extra shiny, but in a good way, make it look like we just like came out of, I don't know, a spa, like we're looking refreshed. So that is where Future Dew comes in. For me, I don't really wear foundation, and when I do wear foundation, I only wear the skin tint, but lately I haven't been wearing foundation because it is kind of what I, like the look that I generally go for is the no makeup look, and sometimes I just leave skin tint out of that, and I only wear a little bit of stretch concealer and I will wear the future dew as pretty much my base so this goes on after whatever your moisturizers are after your sunscreen and everything I'm like out of breath <laughs> so I'm just gonna pump a little bit of this onto the back of my hand please focus actually before we do that because I don't want my bangs to get kinked I'm gonna take them out of their clips bring my bangs down and so now from now on everything that I'm putting on my face is gonna be on like the lower half of my face because I don't like putting a lot underneath my bangs because it can make my bangs really greasy and so I don't put like any makeup I might do a little bit of concealer but I only do the future do on like here down <laughs> so taking the future do I'm gonna take a little pump on to let's get this in focus let's go ladies and gentlemen all right just a pump onto the back of my hand like that and then it's kind of like a, a sticky feeling it's kind of interesting at first but you'll like it trust me so just brushing that onto not brushing wiping And one tip that is really helpful, you take a little bit extra and you like kind of blot it onto the higher points of your face. So like on your cheekbones and on like the tips of your tips. You only have one nose. On the tip of your nose right here and then a little bit on your lip because everybody likes a nice sweaty lip. So this is pretty much what I have been using in place of any sort of foundation. And if I really would like anything more, I use my skin tint just as like a little bit extra coverage if I wanted, so. So already you can see I'm kind of picking up a little bit more of a beam on my cheekbones and on my nose and on my upper lip. Like I don't have much of a little peak right here, but this just kind of like makes that little sweat, you know, I'm rambling. Cool, moving on. Next I go in with my stretch concealer in these fingers are really slippery now, <laughs> in the shade G12. So I just take a little tiny bit and I go underneath my eyes because I'm always tired. Make sure I pull that down. Cool. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit and cover up any of the breakouts that I have right now because it'd be like that sometimes. Hey. 
All right, and that's my base. Cool. Like the the glow that the Future Dew has is unparalleled. I. <laughs> it makes me look like I'm just like, I just woke up and I'm feeling great. I had a great shower and the air is not super dry. It makes it feel like I'm on like vacation. It's vacation in a bottle actually. Just like relaxation. Relaxation? Relaxation. I'm doing great. It's getting dark in here. It's getting dark in here. Let's bring this up. Okay, cool. Moving on. Next step in my makeup routine is going in with my boy brow. This is the one part where I do have to move my bangs out of my way again. But I use boy brow in the shade brown. I have tried clear, blonde, and brown, and brown is definitely my favorite because I do like my brows to be a little bit darker than kind of, I guess, like what they're supposed to be, but my brows are also just kind of naturally darker than the rest of my hair. So the trick is with my, or the way I do my brows really, is I, I back home pretty heavily like this, and then I go and scoop up until I have like Wolverine brows, pretty much like that. Like I like to get as much, there we go as much as that spike up there as possible. And then I go down into the bottom part and I pull these brows, these brows, these hairs, pull these hairs into place like that to kind of create like a, a faux bottom line. And then I, I don't know, touch it up a little bit, pull some hairs back. And then I go from just like a little bit in from my brow and then I comb all of them down, leaving these front pieces kind of spiked up. And sometimes I'll flare out these edges back here like that. So this is without and with. Cool. And I've been growing my brows out for a long time and I recently tweezed them a little bit just to like clean them up. Cool. And that's how I do my brows. It's funny, I got a comment once saying that they, that someone loved all of my makeup except they hated my eyebrows, which was really funny because my eyebrows are my favorite, but Haters gonna hate. Next, moving on to the rest of my face, I'm gonna be using my lovely favorite, one of my favorite Glossier products, which is Cloud Paint. I already have like kind of red in my cheeks, but sometimes I want a little bit more. So I just take the ever so smallest amount. By the way, this is in Puff. This is the color that is like my absolute favorite. So I just squeeze a little bit onto my finger, just like literally that much. And then I know a lot of people kind of like trace their cheekbone like this, but I feel like with my cheeks, I have to go the other way. I have to go down in this direction and follow my natural cheek pattern. So I kind of like focus really heavily on not quite the apples, but a little bit more forward. And then I pull and fade it out down my cheek like that. Cause I think it makes me look a lot more like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but I think this looks a little bit more natural for my face. So I just kind of keep it concentrated right there. So, so starting up here and then I work my way down. Cool. Oh, and then sometimes, or what I've been doing recently is taking like the tiny, like the tiny, tiniest amount. And then I've been putting it on my nose. Next, I'm going to continue the rest of my face with the Night Shine Highlighter. This is in the shade Pale Pearl. There's a ton of cat hair on that. So this is in the shade Pale Pearl, which is perfect for me because I need something that is very light and opalescent and pink tinted and nothing too dark. So I just take a little bit. Why is there so much cat hair on me? I'm confused. So just take my little, this little guy, move my bang and just kind of spread that on. And then I take one of my clean fingers that hasn't been dipped into a ton of other products. Look at that, are you kidding me? So normally I use the Halo Scope, but I've been really into this because it's a much more of like a punch highlighter, which I'm really into. But if I want something a little bit more natural, I will still use the Halo Scope. But for this, I've been just really into because it's so much brighter. And also I have just like a general dew already from the future dew, so it's like, it makes me look even more like, mm. Moist, cool, look at that, are you, hello? And then I'm gonna take a little bit on my nose and also on top of my lip. Blending ever so lightly. And then a crucial part of my highlighter routine is taking a little tiny bit and brushing it onto my brow bone and the inner corner of my eye. It's getting darker in here again. 
So this is like my base do with the night shine, with the cloud paint. All of this is looking glowy. It's looking, I look really refreshed. So now this is where it gets fun. Now I have been having quite a lot of fun with the color slide eye pencils. So if you've seen me like in the past like two weeks, I've worn literally every single one of these shades uh, every day. Not, every, not all of them at once, but I've worn one a day. And so I've had so many different colors of eyeliner <laughs> and it's been amazing. I've never worn color eyeliner up until this point. So this is been pretty fun. My favorites so far are Early Girl, which is this like gorgeous, focus please. Early Girl is this gorgeous Robin's Egg Blue, which it works really well with my eyes. And also it matches, I think the Puff Cloud paint really well for my complexion. And also I really enjoy Cash Salad, which is this greenish gold color, which also like pops a lot on my eyes. And also, and also Critical Mass, which is this really bright berry. I think it matches the berry balm.com pretty well. Love this one as well. And I've been playing with all of them. I'm obsessed with all of them. You really can't go wrong with any of them. So today I'm gonna be using my lovely favorites, which are Early Girl and Cash Salad. <coughs> I'm dying. So my mirror is like just left of the camera. So if you're wondering, that's where I'm looking. And I also got the Blade Pencil Sharpener, which is really cute. It has that awesome little play logo on top, which is perfect for these pencils. So my goal, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? So I'm going to be doing early girl on my top lid and I'm going to be lining my bottom lid with my cash salad to kind of like brighten up underneath my eye. So I just sharpened early girl. So it's nice and pokey. So it's just like this gorgeous blue. So I'm gonna start with just lining the, just kind of like my lash line and then I'm gonna flick it out into a little bit of a wing. Just like that. Am I the best at doing winged eyeliner? Absolutely not. I'm used to using liquid eyeliner, which is what I used to use like all through high school. And so I stopped using eyeliner for a while, but then my love for it was reignited when I met these. So just gonna go to the other side. There we go. So it brings like just this lovely little pop of color on each one of my eyes that just, it's, it's so subtle, but it's just like, ooh, I'm fun, look at me. Okay. Cool. All right, and next I'm gonna go in with Cash Salad. Take this real quick and go underneath my eye. And then I take my finger and kind of just like blend it out a tiny bit. And I don't always do this. Sometimes I'll take Early Girl and just line underneath my eye too, but this is also just like a nice, slightly darker pop of color for underneath. Just like that. All right, that's all for the eyeliner. Next, I'm going into my absolute favorite mascara of all time, which is the Lash Slick. Gotta hurry, because the sun is going down. Are you kidding me? Like, wow. I'm not joking with you guys about this mascara. It's truly amazing. <laughs> All right, now for my last step in my routine, I'm gonna be using the Vanillic Lip in the shade Casino. This is a super bright, like orangey, poppy, scarlet red. I love it because I used to wear red lipstick all the time, but I feel like more of a crimson red looks a little like too retro-y, like Marilyn Monroe type of thing. But this is like, like such a fun new take on just like a red lipstick. And it's also really easy to wear because it doesn't get like crusty and gross. So you just like push the little button on the bottom and some comes out the top like that. All right guys, that is all. So this has kind of been like my go-to fall makeup. I have a bunch of different shades of pretty much everything that I have. I have so many different shades of the color slide that I've just cannot get enough of. And I have quite a few favorites of the Vanillic Lip, Vinylic? I don't know. But 
The shade Casino is definitely my favorite. I also really like Pony for something a little bit darker, but it's just, it's easy. The Vanillic Lip, it, like it doesn't get sticky. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel crusty. It feels just light. And kind of like you're just wearing like the balm.com. It doesn't sit like on your face and feel gross. You feel like you're actually being like hydrated. And it's just like such a bright like pop of color. Are you kidding me? So now that I've taken 40 minutes to, to get my makeup on. All right, guys. So that is all. I hope you enjoyed watching my fall makeup routine. If you are interested in purchasing anything from Glossier, if you want to try anything out, I will leave a link in the description box below and my affiliate code so you guys can get a little bit of a discount. Now it's also right here. Thank you so much to Glossier for sponsoring this video. I cannot believe we're working together. That's really awesome. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're staying hydrated this fall. I hope you're staying safe from any fires that might be around you. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. You guys are really awesome. If you have any questions about any of the Glossier products, definitely hit me up on Instagram or leave a comment down below and I will respond to them as soon as possible um, to make sure you guys are getting the right shades, the right like anything that you need in your makeup or skincare routine. Let me know if you need help. Happy to lend a helping hand if you so need it. So that's all I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Now I gotta get a thumbnail. Look at this cat shirt. You can't even see my cat shirt. Look at this wonderful cat shirt.